Rewind 94.3. This is Unsigned, where I give you an intimate listen to the best unsigned artists around. I'm Jill Eleanor, and this is Charles of the Picassos. Just like that. that okay. Was, that was good. Yeah. All right. Charles of the Picassos. So why the Picassos? Well, um, it's been kind of a long time coming. I've had a lot of different band names in the past, and none of those projects really kind of came together the way I wanted them to. Um, so up until probably a little before last October, um, I decided that I wanted to start a new band called the Picassos, and then I could never, I never actually found bandmates. So it became a one-man band. Mm. Um, and to, in, in the vein of keeping the art and the music very much together, uh, keeping it abstract and freeform like and not really... Picasso? like Possibly, yeah. Ah. Just like, like the artist of that same name. I'm trying to think of what his art is. Is he the one where it's like a face, but it's like his nose is with, down with here. The ears. And yeah. The, yeah. It's it, okay. He was a traditionally learned artist. Like he, he knew just how to do the classic and the more, um, I guess, traditional approach to art, but he took it in a new direction and he did things and that, uh, rubbed people the wrong way at the time. Mm. But now, you know, it's so a trademark. Do you rub people the wrong way? They're um, Charles. Mm, I, you know, <laughs> I, I've, I've been told I can be a little off-putting. Yeah, I feel like everybody can, right? I think so. Okay. So what kind of music is Charles from Picasso's, the Picasso's? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> generally, um, I keep it spooky. Spooky. Spooky, spooky as possible. Okay. Uh, as the stickers say, spooky sounds to listen to in the dark. But um, oh, they do. They do. Uh, uh, I, I read it. I just yes. I saw the picture and I was like, oh, I love that. I mean, it's a riff on the book, but at the same time, it's 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 trying to keep things um, different and weird and maybe scary. But you know, these hmm. are these are all the themes that we talk about in the in the thematic things that I write about. Well, I'm kind of excited. I hope because I, I always <laughs> end up doing this. I'll talk it up a good game, and then I really hope I do it justice in that point. Well, should we play Candlelight? The, yeah, I, I suppose we could. Um, that would be an older track I did when I thought it was going to be a full band. Mm-hmm. So it's it's kind of like louder, punk rock, grungier tones. And this was me recording everything in my basement on... <laughs> um, Sounds even creepier. Not great quality. I'll, I'll give you that. It's it's very much a demo, but it was it's a it's more of a time capsule of what I could do. Uh, this was either, over two years ago that I recorded this particular track. Okay, cool. Well, here is Candlelight on Rewind 94.3, Unsigned. And if you ever want to be on the show, contact me on my Facebook, Unsigned with Jill Eleanor.
Rewind 94.3. That was Candlelight by Charles from the Picassos. So, Charles from the Picassos, what's your inspirations? Uh, the inspirations, um, musically, um, come from a lot of different places. Uh, a lot of older stuff um, from those 60s bands all the way to those 80s bands and those 90s bands. Um, just all 80s just and every, 90s? Everyone that ever happened, basically. Um, specifically, we would talk about stuff like at an earlier age, the Beatles, things of that nature, a lot of that um, uh, lighter, fun stuff. And then um, in the 80s, when you get into the, that whole new wave elements and The Cure and Adamant and things like that, always been a big deal to me. And then when... I, I talked like I was there, like when the '90s <laughs> happened, um, and the Smashing Pumpkins uh, were a thing. That was, you know, all, all, those are all huge influences on me. Aren't it's, Smashing Pumpkins still kind of a thing? Um, only like a portion of them, but oh, I don't, I don't only know. only a slight portion of them. But I, I really it, that depends on who you talk to. Oh, but, okay. But still, um, still putting out good music, just not the traditional lineup with them, unfortunately. Mm. But. So what are these books? I kind of forgot, because isn't that an inspiration you said? Yes, and the art is was always like a huge part of my life, and I was a visual artist and doodles and sculpture and things like that all throughout my growing up of ha that happening. And then uh, finding books like The Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. That's uh, what it is. Put together by Elvin Schultz and illustrated by Stephen Gamel. And his art, that very disturbing... Um, yeah, for kids at least. Black and white, watercolory, charcoal kind of look of stuff. Mm -hmm. it, it, that was always very striking and kind of frightening as yeah. a child. And the fact that those were in public libraries and the school. Uh, and for a kid. Elementary no, I mean, like, nowadays I'm still like, wow, that is kind of kind of creepy. You, you look back and you're like, oh, that was in the elementary library. Wow. And they were so popular. They were. Like you show anybody the book, like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I love that. That was yeah. good. And it's 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 got some super iconic imagery as well as the stories, and people know like the Hearst song and the, the little like it, it was. Uh, it's a collection of like folk folk songs and stories and things like that. But he 
uh, got those together. But the art is really what I think set it above other books like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I'm trying to think of a story. I was thinking, like, it, it's not the one with the um, girl that wore the choker and then she yeah. took it. That, it's not that, <laughs> it, is that, it? That, I think he... I think that's another book. The, it's, it's similar to, I think, actually, Alvin Schultz might have been involved in that one, too. But this one was, like, the white... Um, the wolf, the um, the viper, the me tai do t walker, um, things like that. Hmm. The big toe. Big toe, big yes. Toe. Yeah. Oh absolutely. my god. Yeah. Why I? What is that story about? The terrifying. Um, like I know, the, like the you said, big boy, toe, and it was he, like yes. He finds a big toe in his front lawn, uh -huh. and he like he plucks it from the ground like you can just do that like it's a mushroom or yeah something. And he brings it back to his parents and the mom is like i shall put it in a soup and she does she puts it in the soup and they eat it for um for yes. their dinner and then every night moving forward the, the boy hears a knock on his door and it's like where is my big toe yes okay now i really have to go to the library and get these books because i it, don't think i have them anymore I'll, I'll, they were actually like on the like the do not distribute uh list a litany of books that are like I inappropriate think that list is for so kids stupid. it's it's ridiculous yeah now, i mean some books are really like yeah like the penguins that mm -hmm. are two boys that like the, the people gave them a baby because they were like, um, like yeah like don't give that to kids but it's just a book it's it's, it's, it's just a book. strange yeah strange things i don't know whatever okay but i could keep going with these stories because oh yeah absolutely but i think we should go to another song Please. <laughs> smoke and mirrors. Yes. What is smoke and mirrors about? Um, it is inspired by Houdini, um, and the uh, basically just trying to disappear and uh, fake your death, more or less, hmm. is the idea. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. here is smoke and mirrors live on Rewind ninety four three Unsigned.
Rewind 94.3. That was Smoke and Mirrors. Ooh, ghost. It's, it's a ghost. That's what I do. I conjure ghosts. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of scary. By the way, if nobody heard that, his guitar just moved. Over there. With no one around. Ooh, do it again. Do it again. You know what would be scary? If it just like, <laughs> like... It just starts playing. Yeah, itself. I'd be like, and we're done today. I don't know how to play guitar. I just have a ghost to it. Ah, aren't you like smart? Spooky. Yeah. So where can people find you? Um, Before I forget. Uh, coming up or on the... Online? Just like online. Online. Um, on Facebook for sure. Just mm-hmm. at the Picassos. There is no space anymore. Okay. Because there's a... Um, California band that took my name that had it after I had it by the way. <gasps> Ooh. They have a space. Feud. I like to say mean things online um, on their comment sections of a cool song just change your name. <laughs> but like because like I'm like well this is my name now so. Yeah. But um, on Facebook uh, no space the Picassos and then on Instagram is probably where I'm most active but you can get the music on Bandcamp linked from both of those places. Is there a Picassos.com? Um, I think I have a Winx or something, but I know I don't really, I haven't fixed it yet. Oh, okay. I okay. was just wondering. I'll get there. Ooh, I I'll love doing there. this. If I Google you, are you the first to come up? Um, I think I'm up there, especially in images. I know that much because obviously the namesake is a little bit uh, convoluted. Ooh, hold on. I think it's you that's first. At least on the Facebook page, yeah. I think. Yeah. It just came up Facebook. Righteous. This is you. Correct. There, there I am. There you go. There I am. All you have to do is just Google the Picassos with a space, too. I put a space. Oh, wow. And uh, you come up. Okay. Dang. But like, then it's Pablo Picasso underneath you. Yeah. But well, I, I'm I mean, pretty sure that's, people know that's, that's, a, that's not a, you. That's a good second. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But you don't really look like him. If that's really Pablo Picasso. Yes. He, he doesn't have hair. You Does he have, have a hair. striped shirt. I don't. Oh, oh, my just phone. Trademark. It's just trademark. My phone is just horrid. Like, look at that. Doesn't even come up with pictures. Oh. I know, stupid. There's oh, probably a few in there, but... Yeah, I'll look it up later. Something. I don't know. Rose-colored glasses. Is it... Ooh, let me guess what this song's about. Yeah. So, is it about, like... Actually, what is rose-colored glasses? Like, you look, like, through the glasses, like, oh, everything's fine? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah, know, or so everything that, was that, bad. Definitely. It, yeah, it's, it's definitely taking those off. Ah, uh, so know, everything's and, not and, fine. And, and you get a you get a a good taste of what is actually going on. Like having these ideas, these optimistic views as maybe a, a younger person. And then as you progress and you, you learn and you grow and you see the world for what it might be, which is a very scary place most of the time. I'm so. optimistic. See, I always have rose colored glasses on. That's good though. So that's yeah. a good thing. But life is good. Yes. So here is Rose Colored Glasses Live by the Picassos. His name's Charles on Rewind 94.3. Picking at memories like scouts left on here. Your mind's a wasteland like forgotten movie reels. Visionaries are extinct, only scavengers survive. With no one inside Cement and cobblestone Weather and erode Not unlike the storybooks But the ones overtone These arrogant suitors Chase after cross Not one of them registers To damage or around She once was a child Yesterday it longs to rewind The past isn't brighter, oh no more than it's bleak But tomorrow is a promise now, just one that sounds so weak
is hollow, but it comes from within. She once was a child with dreams so in those had her rose glasses on, but they feel so blue. Rewind 94.3, that was Rose Colored Glasses by Charles from the Picassos. Or, well, you are just the Picassos, but, you know. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Either way. Yeah. But if you ever want to be on the show like him, contact me on my Facebook, Unsigned with Jill Eleanor. And I'm not just taking musicians. Coming up, I'm going to have a comedian or two because I love jokes. Tell me a joke. Go. Um, what's a ghost's favorite cereal? Bran Flakes. I don't get it. It's part of a well-balanced breakfast. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like thinking, even, I was thinking like the blueberry. I'm, well, yeah, usually, but you know, not every not every ghost is gonna enjoy oh. blueberry. Oh, okay. Why not? Well, I know. I like blueberry. <laughs> I no, I, I have plenty, uh. plenty of boxes at home right now. Oh, they stock up. You gotta. You, no, you have to this time of year. Yeah. But also, if you, I guess, maybe like a writer, like if you're like, hey, I wrote a book, I, I, but you have to read it like in this kind of voice that soothes people. I know somebody. Oh, there you go. I'll give a business card to you. Yeah. But yeah, if you ever want to be on this show in a hobo thing, I don't want no hobos. You got to be talented, hobo. Only if you want to be like my sidekick for a day, then sure, why not? Which, going to have a sidekick in two weeks from... Mandy from No Sin and Eden is going to be my co-host. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's get right to the next song, which is X-Ray Specs. X-ray. Ooh, can I guess what it is again? Yes. You can, like, X-Ray Specs is like, oh, I can see right through you. Like, you're a fake person? S- uh, similar. To uh, probably M- not. Maybe, maybe more uh, trying to see um, past people's exteriors. And see that we all have skeletons in it inside, so we're not so different after all. Okay, well, I was far from it, but <laughs> thank you for letting me... That, that too, but, you know, spooky skeletons, you know. No, oh, okay. Spooky, scary skeletons. Cool. Well, here's X-Ray Specs live on Rewind 94.3, unsigned.
Rewind 94.3. That was X-Ray Specs by Charles. And the Picassos. Well, not and. I don't know how to word this. How just, would you word this? the Picassos. The Picasso is, is fine. But I like I'm, your name. Charles I'm, is really I'm, cool. I'm irrelevant to the equation. But I like Charles. That's a cool name. How many it's Charles like, do you know? Um, A few. Really? My grandfather. Oh, like well, I'm going to guess you were uh, named after him? Yes. Yeah, well. <laughs> See, I don't know any Charles. Ziz. Is it Charles? Is? Ch- uh, I suppose, yeah. Charles is, yeah. Char- Char- like, yeah, because it's like James is, but you put the apostrophe. Okay, let's get over that fact. So, near future, what's coming up? Um, well, I don't have a whole lot um, going up up until October. Other than that, in October, Aren't you I'm, like- already, I'm already booked a couple bonfires. But I don't really have any like specific shows happening just yet. Bonfires? How do you get booked to bonfires? People book me for bonfires. I mean, I, that, that's that's kind of like I feel like the the ideal listening is with a pumpkin spice latte at a bonfire. There I am. So you're a pumpkin person. I'm a pumpkin person. Pumpkin person. I'm, I am a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin. If not, yeah. Under all under all this skin is just. More <laughs> okay. Pumpkin. I was yeah. thinking like you don't look orange. Yeah, well, I have to peel that off, and mm, then I become don't, a full That might be a kind of a mess today. No, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Can we go uh, back to how, like, how do you get gigs for bonfires? Like, how big are these bonfires? I mean, they're, they're, they're quaint. It's a sizable crowd sometimes. I, I've had people that have, like, come to bonfires specifically because they knew I was going to be playing, which was, a, which was quite a time. I just, I've never been to a bonfire where it's like, oh, well, we have music. Well, I mean, I have, but it's usually like a big shindig like, for a birthday. Well, it's like a, it's a Halloween party. It's a, a, a harvest fest. fest. Hmm. But I'm, I'm going to try to set up a few more. I'm imagining. I'm oh, that's have, just so cool. Yeah. I want to play at a bonfire. Do it. Do the thing. Just, but, I mean, I mean you, but I yours mean, is like spooky and like bonfire you, you, you can go to any bonfire and just start playing. Like nobody's going to. But I want to be paid for it. Well, paid, is that's hardly. Psh, don't talk to me about being paid. I, oh, I, okay. Sorry. I was like. I'm not saying that I'm getting paid for bonfire. <laughs> it is it is my own pers- oh, it's my people. own personal enjoyment. Do you at least that. get like free booze, food? Well, I I don't want booze. Okay, do you get food or sodas? Um, Water I, bottle? I, I I I sometimes, yeah. Okay, that's, that's good. At least I pay you on something. That was a joke. I don't want booze, I want applause. There it is. There you go. Yeah. I um, thought you just like didn't drink booze. <laughs> I I don't actually, but that's mm. beside the point. But you can find all that information on my Facebook, Bandcamp, and Instagram. Okay, so Bandcamp and Instagram. Indeed. That kind of rhymed. I was kind of more excited than I should have been. Yes. Bandcamp and Instagram. Oh, I guess it really doesn't rhyme. Eh, Eh. It's a slant. Eh. It works. Eh. It can. Meh. Sure. All right. Hey, if you're a songwriter, it rhymes. Ooh, wait, are you the person that says may instead of me? Ugh. Meh. Uh, like well, just to rhyme with things. <laughs> uh, I I imagine I I probably would. Ugh. Yeah. I don't, uh, on occasion. God, on I occasion. don't I don't know why that like it's like a pet peeve. Like May is a day, or I may do that. Like, but if you're like Whole month, today even. is about May. Like, uh, I mean, we can't ugh. all be JT. So. <laughs> it's gonna be May. <laughs> it's gonna be May. But uh, I wish. Yeah. Because then it would be like winter's almost done. Psh. I'm just getting started. Yeah, this fall is, is my bread and butter. This is the only time my bread and I butter. can exist. People don't. People think like, oh, cool, you're really Halloween themed. Like you're really good for for just this month. Like, no, this is all the time. Like, this is, <laughs> this well, is, are you busier during this month? Yeah. Okay. Just just like just like I imagine, um, Santa Claus would be for December. Like I am. I'm not saying I'm the great pumpkin, but maybe you should have like. A Christmas song too, but like I'm working like on the Jack I'm working Skellington on, I'm, or something. No, I'm working on one for Krampus, actually. Krampus, what the, is that? The Christmas Devil. Christmas Devil. Bada boom. Of, of German folklore. Well, there you go. Christmas. Krampus. Krampus. Christmas Do I have to? R- you can. You can. Krampus. I think it works the best that way. Okay. Krampus. I've been. I've been. It's been in the works. I tried to have it set up. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna really have one for each holiday. Yeah. Like. <laughs> for like um, Thanksgiving, like we are the pilgrims, and then we kill the Indians after they give us corn. That's actually probably a, a couple songs right there. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's a good holiday, but it's, not really afterwards. 
Bada ba turkey. It's, it's a true horror. Yeah. <laughs> eh, whatever. Uh, yeah. Oops. Ooh. Oopsies. Ooh. Sorry. No. Yeah, um, wasn't there. I would have stopped. You it. know, Easter is its own thing. It's. I mean, Easter is scary enough. If you if you imagine the concept of a giant rabbit leaving its eggs everywhere. <laughs> Let's get into the next song because I could talk forever, but now it's your turn to talk because of the devil. Do the name. Yes, uh, this was a phrase that my grandmother had said. Mm-hmm. It is Italian. It like, is um, the translation is uh, "coste cosono de divolo." Uh huh. It's Italian for "these things are of the devil." And that's what your grandma would just say. It's well, it's it's like "coste uh, cosono de divolo," and it's like saying like, "Oh no, don't do that. That's bad. Like that's evil. Don't do that." Ah. Uh. Like 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 a. Uh, not really slang, but just kind of like a saying. Ah, uh, okay. I get. I thought Italian it was just saying. like she was just into that or something. No, it like tells you like, "Hi, how's it going? This is the devil's." You are of the devil. <laughs> like, um, just like basically s- saying saying things or doing things that are like, "Oh, you shouldn't be doing that." Like ah. idle hands. It's like an uh, like an idle hands thing. Idle hands, the devil's playground. So okay. the concept is of um, a couple of serial killers. Uh, who have made a pact with the devil, mm-hmm. um, so they never get caught, and so they keep on, um, you know. And, and eventually, I, I think the story—it's a concept song, part of the new. This is a new song that is mm-hmm. not recorded currently, that may be recorded soon. Okay. Um, and a part of the new concept release that is yet untitled, uh, but so it's about serial killers and doing uh, bad things. Well, I mean, they're serial killers. I Generally. wouldn't be like. Yeah, and then well, they you know, uh, like it's, gave food to the poor. Like I don't. Know. Well, maybe. I, I don't mean, know. I guess. It, it's it's a working. Like progress. who would who would be like? Oh, Johnny! No, he didn't kill anybody. He gives food to the poor. He's too nice for that. He, he might. There you go. He could do that too. Yeah, it's like it's like, like, oh, a, it's, it's like a Robin Hood serial killer. <laughs> Why not? All right, maybe that's a new name for this song. Huh? Just kidding. Mm. So here's of the devil on Rewind ninety four three unsigned. And if you ever want to be on the show, contact me on my Facebook unsigned with Jill Eleanor.
Rewind 94.3. That was of the devil. Do the Italian name. Coste Sono del Divolo. Okay. Bye. Charles. Of from the Picassos. Picassos. Yeah. Of the Picassos. Or is it from or of? Of. Mm. I just like your name. I okay. can't like. That's f- not. I'm, I'm. So what are your future? Like two, five, ten years. Or uh-huh. I guess like next week if you really are like, you know what? My future is going to be future is whenever uh whenever it happens i don't know but what do you um, want to happen i would just like to um record new music put out new music mm-hmm. maybe people listen to it i don't i like your music that'd be ideal if people want to like listen to it and then um do you have I, a cd yet i i had cds like the the, the two releases that are on the band camp were physical cds mm-hmm. but i ran out of cds no oh, you're you'd so. be kind of fun to listen to like in the car because it's yeah. kind of like a story. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all stories and all that kind of fun stuff. Themes and theatrics and things. That mm-hmm, we, can, mm-hmm. we can pitch it in there. But I want to put out um, a full length record. I don't know if that's going to consist of the material that I've already put out or if it's going to be completely new stuff. I don't know if I'm going to have a full band um, at any point in time. I was uh, playing with an upright bass player for a little bit. Ooh, how fun. Which was a really cool aesthetics as well as like that older sound which is you know a swingy kind of big band sort of element that i Mm -hmm. i I want to incorporate i want to do more of that um but it's just kind of hard to nail things down and get schedules to things like that Mm -hmm. um i don't know i i want to hit the road i want to do that and go to places and play places and have rich and famous (sighs) as long as people listen that's all i really would like you don't want money. If if you I can fame? if I can just exist making the arts, that would be ideal. Mm. Be super ideal. I think you are doing it right now, aren't you? I but I want to not have other jobs and just make art would be great. Mm. But you know, such as such as the world is, who knows? Yes. But at least you have other jobs. At least you're like, yeah. No, it's screwed. I'm just gonna play my music, and you live in a box. I I'm I'm I just might, I just mm. might do that mm. if I can help it. Okay, well, good luck to you and your endeavors. Yes, of living in a box. I'm I'm fine with that at that point. So I, I already have a suitcase. I can just live in. That. <laughs> you can live so, in your suitcase. Yes, your drum. Yes, cool. Um, I'm not saying like I I I think you could go places. Well, so you know, good for you. Um, grave diggers, lament, 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 lament. Grave diggers. <clears throat> So, what is that we, song about? We. Um, it is about dying. Dying. <laughs> and um, being. Why did I laugh? Die. Well, no, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, um, it can be, it can be, it can be funny if, mm-hmm. if you, if you, if you, uh, if you get to that point. But um, we're all going to do that. We're all going to die. Hey, um, never say uh, you know, never because future. Unless, unless we all, they all become immortal vampires, in which case. We might have a, a shot. I don't want to drink blood. I feel like there'll be a different way to be a vampire in okay. the future. In the future, we'll figure that out. Do you watch own. Adventure Time? I don't. Okay, because um, there's Marceline. In, I've heard. She uh, has like, she just drinks red. Just red. Just red. Whatever's red. Yeah. Could be anything. Like an apple. Tomato and then she like juice. sucks it out and then it turns gray. I love tomato juice. As a as vampires could. Yeah, yeah, but it's not really. It's, 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 it's the blood of a tomato. It's the blood of a tomato. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, there you go. So blood right. of things. So like so smoothies, whatever, whatever you want to juices drain of their liquid. It's it's you've drank the blood of the of the lemon, of the apple, of the chocolate bar. Yeah, you. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you melt it, it turns liquid. Blood of the cacao bean. Blood of the pumpkin. Yeah, that's that's also. <laughs> That Unfor- sounds like a cool unfortunately band name, blood. yeah that would be ooh, ooh wow um, write that down huh mm, mm. something something there but uh, okay so grave diggers lament lament yes. just about dying uh, about dying and you know just kind of not taking life for granted and not uh, in taking those steps and doing things that you would normally do because our time is finite and our time is limited so. Oh, so it's kind of an uplifting song. It can be. I think it can be. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it sounds very uplifting. <laughs> but uh, hey, somebody might take it like, "Wow," because like the I, Picasso, you look at a piece of art, like, "Oh, that makes me happy," and then that person over there is like, "Really? That makes me upset." 
It is. So. It's a. It's a eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Every, everything is very eye of the beholder. So here is grave diggers l lament lament lament. Okay, what did you? I was thinking. Say it fast, and it, it works either way. Grave diggers lament. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. On rewind ninety four three unsigned. Rewind 94.3, that was Grave Diggers Lament. You say it like that in the song, Lament. It's not yes. like Lily Mint or however. Like, I, think, I think that's how I say it. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to go with Lament. Yeah. Okay, so Grave Diggers Lament by Charles in the Picassos. No, because you are oh, the oh, Picassos. I am, but I, it, I, I usually just say like, this was Picassos. Oh, like just... Yeah, like. No Charles, but I like no. your name, so I'm yeah. gonna put Charles. Fine. Charles the third. It's me. <laughs> Wait, are you the second? Um, we have a different middle name. Oh, you so have to I'm have not. the same middle name to be I, like. I a guess. Third? I guess that's like one of the 
specifications of being a junior, senior, or a second, something like that. Mm. I just like the third. The third. Yeah. Sounds sounds cool. regal. Yeah. Quite regal. Like yes. rich. Had rich. the champagne with mm. the uh, mm. caviar. Mm. 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 Not mm. a cracker. Mm. Mm. Quite, yes. Yes, yes, quite. Mm. <laughs> I like that word. So you do art. Are you like a Picasso? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I wouldn't say a Picasso, but I, I, I do, I do my own uh, spin on art. I've worked in watercolor, mm-hmm. pen and ink, mm-hmm. ever since I learned how to do that in the middle of high school. I think I had a really, really great uh, couple of really great art instructors in high school. That's they were cool. real good. But um, so that was great. But ever since i've been working in uh watercolor and pen and ink almost exclusively and i do a lot of my own um art for my materials promotional materials such as that sticker with the uh, it's a riff on the scary stories tell me dark again That's but it's cool. um it's all pen and ink and i no it does remind think wait it, is this one did you draw that yeah that's a watercolor i did that's so cool you're really good it was actually in um it was it's a full color it image <laughs> um and it looks like it's i tried to it, i was inspired by it follows the film it's it follows mm. no no do you follow i'm a follower no? i'm not a leader okay. <laughs> uh well it's I don't I, like to be in show. and i just made it black and white to look like the stephen gamel artwork to kind of give no that yeah no it does but, like when you said the pen and ink which isn't that just ink ink yeah, yeah. i mean whatever they, they call it pen and ink i mean it's hatching cross hatching is the technique used to get just uh, black lines. Right. Well, and with watercolor, I, I thought of the book. Yes. Because no, yeah. I thought it was like, you know, like the pen, black and white, but then like the blood is only the thing that's like yeah. colored. Yeah. It's, God, I miss those it's books. It's so rad. So good. Mm-hmm. So great. Your next song is Personal Phenomenon. That's really yes. hard to say. Yes. Phenomenon. All right. What is that? I one? can do it live, but I need, um, I need audience participation. Why is that? Because it has backup vocals in the, the, the back, and it just it just has to happen. Oh well, it's okay. I so I have, have it here. We have the recording. Yeah, so. I, I can I can play the recording the rec- if you must. It it may feature um some actual ghost noise in it somewhere. I can't say exactly where, but I, <laughs> I, are you gonna go boo? <laughs> I, I no I I I think because I I recorded it in my haunted basement. Mm-hmm. Um, that I believe I have actually probably captured some noises that I did not personally make in a lot of these recordings. That's cool. So it's haunted. Um, during you should get one of those kits. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, a kit. The V, you know, like oh, like the EVP readers and all thanks. that. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. I'm working on it. I <laughs> might I might end up doing something like that sooner or later. That might be a, a career vocation. If all this doesn't pan out, I'm just going to be a ghost hunter. Why not? Why not? Like, right? who's like, like, oh, you know, I, I, I want to be a ghost hunter. There's not a lot out there. But, like, right. you could just be, like, the ghost hunter of St. Clair Shores and I'm people your, just I'm go your, to you. I'm your ghost buster. Like, yeah. Let me bust your ghost. That's fine. Like, that didn't sound however, good. I don't however know. However that, I Can mean, I bust your ghost? I mean, mm-hmm. if, if we're just talking whatever spiritual apparitions are in your home... You could just do it we'll for five bucks, we'll and then like once you like, get like five known, bucks. <laughs> I'm I'm your clearance Ghostbuster. Yep. Like whatever. And then whatever once you get afford. known, though, then you could be like, oh, now it's a ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> now it's five fifty. Ooh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because we'll raise the price ever so much. Oh. And yeah, I'll have a whole <laughs> team of investigators that I pay them in ghost accolades in songs. They don't exist. <laughs> They're just spooky accolades. But um, yeah, where do we go? Um, so, so this song, the personal phenomena is about the ghost that I think might live in my house. Okay. And, uh, it is, it is a, a farcical, uh, fairy tale. If it was, um, anything that I am like, the line is, I wish I shared my house with a ghost, but I actually might. So it's like, I'm in denial of it, Mm -hmm. but in the live, uh, in a live setting, I usually like to get um, all the audience to sit together on the ground and we will uh, join hands and we're going to have a seance. We turn the lights down real low. Mm-hmm. I turn the lights on on my guitar. You have um, lights on your guitar? Yeah, I'll, sh- I'll show you. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. <laughs> Do that. That's so cute. And so so it's, 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 you know, 
in October they're orange. Um, but um, and we try to raise the ghost out of the can. I have a ghost in a can over there. <laughs> yeah, this is adorable. It's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole. Uh, when we listen to this song, can you do the whole thing? I mean, we, we can try to. I'll show you. I mean, I'll show I you don't want to sit on the floor and hold hands. I don't. I mean, I just want to see the ghost in the people. can. We need more people. But can but, I see the ghost in the can? Yeah, I'll get the ghost. Okay, in the can cool. Right now. Well, yeah. here is personal phenomenon on Rewind 94.3 Unsigned. Just some stray inspector watching over me A person of phenomena
Rewind 94.3. That was Personal Phenomenon by Charles the Picasso. Ooh, the mm. Picassos. Nah, that didn't work. And I opened the can. Like, it took me that whole song to open a can. There's a ghost with us now. Yes, now there's a ghost in a piece of paper that chair. I thought was a worm or a snake that no, pops out of cans. Certainly not. I'm still like afraid of that can. <laughs> like well, you just picked it up and I'm like, don't. It's, uh. a, it's a, you know, it can be a little frightening. I, no, I have, when you don't know what's in it. I mean, that's the idea because <laughs> you, you might have released the ghost. The idea is that when we hold the seance, mm -hmm. we get the ghost uh, to come out of the can. Does it work? It can. I, yeah. I, I Honestly, because I've had experiences at shows now uh, when, when I do get like a nice audience participation of people joining hands and we're all locked in doing the same thing that lights have flickered things have fallen down um i've had some slightly paranormal experiences in the, right after i play usually That's like so cool. it's i don't know if i'm conjuring anything but you should play everywhere i'd come i've been playing a few places you should come down here more i want to say that people that maybe there are spirits that have are maybe they already exist in the place and we're like calling them out I, I like to so think cool. that's what's going on. I'd come to your show. Do it. Yeah. There's, there's, there'll be some. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be afraid every time. Yeah, yeah I <laughs> Who mean. Who wants to open the can? I don't. I don't. Well, you know what's in it already. Like, I know. It's a can with a I, snake in it. <laughs> there's no snake in the can. <laughs> but now I, you're thinking about I, it. I actually had a little um, a D and d miniature ghost that I had had in the can for a little while. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. He's disappeared. <gasps> boom, boom. Or maybe somebody stole them. Honestly, <laughs> it's likely. Yeah, well. You never know. You never know. Well, ooh, you could make like your own ghost out of a tissue. That might be kind of cute. I've been trying to find something that I can like fit in the can that would actually be like. But I, I like the idea that the ghost is invisible and it just comes out of the can, whatever. Because obviously it's weightless, it's an apparition. <laughs> So. I love this. You like you it's have good. a show. You have a thing. I'm trying to have a thing. That is so I'm cool. Trying to have a thing. Yeah. No, nah, I mean that's really hard to find is a, a thing. Like, oh, let's bring the guy that does seances at his show while he plays well, that's, spooky music. That's my genre. It's spooky seance polka. That's so cool. I'm sorry. I the, swear the I'm not. The polka I'm not comes drunk. sometimes. <laughs> the polka comes sometimes. The polka. There's a little bit of polka here and there. I'm I'm working on more of that, but seance polka. Hmm. Is the you genre. got a thing. A, we're, we're pioneering the genre. The last song is Paper Kingdoms, and I'm just going to have this played out until like the end of the show. So what is Paper Kingdoms about? Um, it is about loss, and um, it's a, a feelings of nostalgia and um, thinking about the past and missed opportunities and things like that, and maybe missing someone, maybe trying to reconnect with who you used to be that sort of thing um it is roughly inspired by some tragedy that happened in my high school um a few years ago how old are you um i am 24 oh okay so oh you looked older I, that's a good I, thing i, I get think. up and down some people must I, be facial hair my birthday was last week two, <gasps> weeks happy ago. birthday oh, august. i'm august too what day 12th 21st <gasps> ah. that's cool okay <laughs> backwards yeah Oh, that's wow! Whoa, this Whoa. is meant to be. Wow, ghosts! Wow, ghosts! It's the ghost. <laughs> it's the ghost. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. You were fun. Thank Especially you for having me. The can. Thank you for having me. I'm very glad. <laughs> very glad to be here. Well, here is Paper Kingdoms on Unsigned. I bring you an intimate listen to the best unsigned artists around here on Rewind 94.3.
Thank you.